Today's presentation will be on how to set up online banking. So that's okay. So it's, it's, it's going to be a guide on setting up online banking for the first time. So understanding online banking. Online banking has become an essential tool for managing your finances. It allows you to manage your bank accounts and perform financial transactions via the internet. You can access your account using a computer or mobile device, and it provides a secure way to handle banking tasks without visiting a physical branch. Benefits of online banking, so it's 24 access, manage your account anytime, anywhere, convenient transactions, transfer funds, pay bills and check balances easily. So paperless statements, receive electronic statements and manage documents online. So choosing an online banking provider, your bank. If you're already a customer of a bank, they likely offer online banking. Online only banks, these banks specialize in online services and offer and often offer competitive rates like the ones on the side. So it's Capital One, Chime and Discover. Um, those are actually really good reputable banks I would recommend. So consider factors like look for factors like security features, ease of use and available services. Prepare for online banking. So requirements would include your bank account. So you must have an active bank account, internet access, so have a stable internet connection that's required, have a device, so a computer, a smartphone, or a tablet, identification information, so personal information and bank details, some security considerations, secure internet connection, so use a private and secure internet connection, which would like be like your own, like don't use one like at Starbucks or something. It's not very secure because it's, it's shared. So strong password, create a strong and unique password for an online banking account. And two-factor authentication, use additional safety features if available. So for the most part, they do offer like two steps to actually get into your account, which is very safe. So setting up online banking, step one, gather your information. Before you begin, ensure you have the following information ready, bank account number. It's found on your bank statements or account documents. So your personal identification information, such as your social security number or driver's license number. Your contact information, your email address, or your phone number. Step two, visit your bank's website or mobile app. Open your browser on your computer or mobile device. Open your internet browser, navigate to your bank's website, enter your bank's website address in the address bar. An example is like www.insertthebankthere.com. Alternatively, download your bank's mobile app from the App Store if you have an iPhone or Google Play Store if you have an Android. So locate online banking session. Look for links or buttons labeled online banking, sign up, enroll, or something similar. So step three, enroll in online banking. Start enrollment. On the website or app, click on sign up or enroll button. You may be redirected to an enrollment form so you, there you would enter your information, provide your name, address, date of birth, and social security number. If you don't have one, it would be your tax identification number. Enter your bank account number and other required details. So three would be to create login credentials. Choose a unique username. Avoid easily guessed names, but make sure that you can remember it as well. So also create a strong password that includes a mix of letters, numbers, and special characters. Ensure it is something you can remember, but it's difficult for others to guess. So step three, enroll in online banking account continued. So set up security questions. You may be asked to choose and answer security questions, select questions and answers that are memorable for you, but easily guessed by others. So some examples are like, what's your childhood home? They, they give you options. I'm like, what's your first pet or something? So verify your identity. Follow an additional verification step, such as entering a code sent to your email or phone. This helps ensure your identity and secure the setup. So review the document and submit it. So review all your information you've entered, ensure that everything is correct, submit the enrollment form to complete the setup process. So step four, access your online banking account. So you would log in after enrolling return to your bank's website or open the mobile app, enter your username and password to log in, explore the dashboard, which is 
what you would first, the screen you would first enter on when you first like open the app or open the website. Familiarize yourself with the dashboard and available features such as checking account balances, transferring funds, paying bills, and viewing transaction history. So step five, set up additional features. Link other accounts. If your bank allows it, you may link external account for easier transfers and set up bill payments. Use the online banking platform to set up automatic or one bill payment. And enable alerts. Set up accounts alerts for activities such as low balances, large transactions, or any upcoming bills. So troubleshooting common issues, forgotten password. Reset, reset passwords. Use the forgot password link on the login page. It would come up like in little letters in like a blue. You could just click it and it goes directly to steps you could follow. Follow those instructions to reset your password. Login issues. Check credentials. Ensure you're entering the correct username and password so make sure you have all that information written down when you first enroll so that you don't forget or just memorize it if you don't trust it to be written down. So also clear cache. So try clearing your browser's cache or using a different browser. So this would be if like you're on their website, you could like just take out those extra tabs that are not using so that the data could work um, more efficiently. So security concerns. If you have anything like that, they should have, your bank should have like a customer service that you can contact immediately or some kind of AI like to help you with like common issues. So if you suspect unauthorized access or have security concerns, contact your bank immediately. So tips on maintaining online banking security, use strong passwords, change your password regularly and use unique passwords for different accounts. Monitor statements. Regularly check your account statements for any unusual activity. Sometimes they give you the options to like notify you if your account is like at a certain balance or not. Log out. Always log out of your online banking sessions when finished, especially on shared or public devices. Update software. Keep your devices and banking apps updated to protect against vulnerabilities and they're always making improvements. So it's a good thing to keep checking if they need an update. So these are also additional resources. I don't know if we want to go over them right now. That's the end of the presentation. So thank you for listening. If you